case you don't know what this is, this is a humidifier. It's very cold. Here, freezing. Now, and in this part of Europe, when it is very cold, it acts everywhere. The air is very dry outside. It's getting in the house, obviously, because otherwise we would die. And it can get warmed up and so even dry it out more. So and from time to time this thing needs cleaning. It really gets very dirty, you see. And then doing now. So tonight recording of the partitas again. I did sleep much better. And you know what the secret is. I've I figured it all out. I was reading for the second time Sherlock Holmes. So just before I... When I am in bed, my... So, I will not give you all details of everything uh, that happens in our bed, but let's say we just go to bed to sleep. And those minutes before going in my bed and before sleeping that's my time you know I can read whatever I want that's my for my feeling that's really my free time my time off and of course if I play the clever chord and music that's free time you could say that's your hobby that's the thing that you're passionate about that can all be true but there is, a, there is also kind of feeling of a mission if I don't focus daily on the things I really think are important in my life, I feel bad at night. But that, those moments, minutes in bed, just before sleeping, is my time. And so I am reading. Uh, I tried to read to a bunch of clavichord numbers, clavichord international, but that didn't work too well because this related to work, actually that's work. I was thinking then, if there was a great article, how I could use that or share that with you or make a video about or just because sometimes when you have an insight in something or you see a connection that's and if you make videos on YouTube you would understand the feeling that's of course producing content and I have to find a way of getting rid of that and in fact it's, a, it's a, in fact it's even more interesting than that alone because when I that's a coffee machine when I, when I would see it differently, and I, I'm just thinking out loud now, that if I read an article that potentially would be interesting of sharing with you, imagine what you have to do. It's making a summary of that particular article. Now it's finished. And after I've made the summary, the video production is very easy because everything you have to say is in the summary. But once you have the summary of something you've read and which is uh, grabbing your attention, that summary will for sure sticks the message into your brains forever. So what's the extra part of work for making a video out of that? It's, like, it's in fact not so much if you think about it this way because imagine if you would do this every week and we've been talking on book reviews I would love to do that more in the future just have to find a format and to be honest sometimes you reach a kind of limit and in time it's just a matter as simple as that but imagine that I would have a format in which I could make book, book reviews that would require me to make summaries so read the content very well read the book very well and understand it very well in order to share that with, uh, with an audience which is you so the video on the last part would be an easy thing to do if the preparation is well and the preparation serves my goal in life which is becoming a better musician, understanding more the things that happen 
or are important with clavichord and or the keyboards in general. And so that imagine I would do this every two weeks or even every three weeks of every month depending on the size of the book or the article. But let's say every two weeks. There would be 26, 26, 26, 20, about bedtime, 26 reviews a year, but that would mean also 26 books and or articles that I have written, I've read really in depth. Not like going on internet and search something, because that's something, that's a trap, I think, to all of us. But if I speak to me, the... I'm looking to the cats that capture the mouse so there at, as we speak, fighting who is going to eat the mouse. It's not living anymore, luckily. But one of the dangers of today's time is that information is available everywhere in massive amounts. And I don't know with you, but with me is sometimes that you just read an article online, you find information, and it goes so quickly. I once downloaded in two hours historical articles and books more than I ever can read in my entire life. So what's the point of doing that? You can better read one book, one article, very intense, very good, and then make a summary out of that. I, we learned that in class, remember? Because that information sticks with you for a very much longer time. And reading is important, I believe. Maybe even more than watching YouTube videos. I, I shouldn't say that, no, YouTube is great. And all, all these social platforms, if you use them for your own benefit or for just to relax it, so it's fine. And I couldn't share my performances with you if it wasn't for YouTube. But reading, I think we... I sometimes wonder who is really reading. I'm a bad advocate because I read not enough. All to say that Sherlock Holmes, I've been reading it now for the third time. I'm enjoying that very much. I did sleep well tonight. And the previous nights I was reading a biography of Ernest Glass, which is a Flemish author, a very important person. Nobody talks about him anymore today. It's typically for our culture here. We're not so proud of our own culture, so uh, either you have to die, but even then it's not a guarantee of, of success, or you have to live very far abroad in another country or other people from other countries should say something good about you but otherwise we are not a culture that are defending our own people and our own history so this and this class is very close to me I've when I was 18 years old I was in fact working with the computer was 18 years yeah that's early end 80s early 90s with the computer first databases and I remember going to the NS class archive which is in the personal possession I was thrilled by touching all these personal stuff and in fact the two years after that I worked uh, on a database for the thousands and thousands of, of books and letters and, and you cannot imagine I think I came up at the end we had 20 thousand entries I think in the database which is used today still and now finally there is a biography of that great man a great author but has also witnessed two world wars and had a huge immense political influence and and his story and maybe I should tell you one day about that because we can learn from that as well we can put things in perspective by looking to the past and certainly to a person who had to do it all himself and but anyway, that was I was reading the last days when I slept much worse. So I switched to Sherlock Holmes again, and that's the reason I can, I believe, I'm sure it is, I will be recording tonight the Jeek, that is, we are now the 18th, 
18th of January 2017, the jig of the fabulous first partita, and probably, if I feel well, we proceed to the second partita. Now, cleaning. And see you next time.